today our topic is regarding to the types of the bank are we can say that the classifications of the bank so bank first of all we will know about the bank after that we will go towards the types so in the my previous lecture I defined the bank but now here I again will define you to recall your memory that bank is a financial institution which deals with the money and credits credit here means loans or advances it's accept money in form of deposits from depositors and then lend it to borrowers they accept deposit at low interest rate and offer it to a borrower at high interest rate the difference between the exchange rate is the profit for the bank and that difference is called spread for example nowadays deposit interest rate is that is a nine percent and lending interest rate that is 15 percent so the difference between 9 and 15 is 6 percent normally that is the profit margin or this 6 percent is also called spread so shortly we can define the bank the bank is a financial institution which accept deposit at low interest rate lend those deposits at high interest rate as well as providing services bank that is classified into different types so first one classification with respect to the activity that is performed or the functions that is performed by bank on function basis first one type of the bank is central bank this is also called state bank or federal reserve bank so don't be confused sometime we are saying central bank sometime we are saying federal reserve bank sometime we are saying state bank every civilized country now has its own central bank each and every country keep in a mind that they have central bank there is no country in the world that they are run without the central bank the primary functions of the central bank is to regulate the flow of the money and credit in order to promote efficiency stability and growth in the country <coughs> it makes the policy that's why it is called policy maker bank it's also called bank of banks why because it control the remaining all banks the main functions of this is to keep the circulation of money and also make the different policies like monetary policy to stabilize the economy within the country it's also controlling and supervising the foreign exchange it's a non-profit organization so as it's make the policies the rules and regulation for the remaining financial institutions so <clears throat> 
that is why this is called a supervisory inst institution. Common examples of the central bank is the state bank of Pakistan, the central bank of Afghanistan, dub the Afghanistan bank. In England, it is called Bank of England. In United States, it is called Federal Reserve System or Federal Reserve Bank. Next one is Commercial Bank. So, commercial banks are those banks which are engaged in performing the routine activity. And what are the routine activities or duties? Accepting deposit, lending loan and services pro provision, uh, providing by services. Commercial banks are those banks which collect surplus money from the pupils or savers. They make loans and advances in the form of overdraft, cash credit loan, discounting of the bill of exchange. Commercial banks also creates money. They also provides agency services, which we discussed in details. And similarly, general utility services like we uh, pay our electricity, our gas bill in the banks. The banks or commercial banks in short are considered the lifeblood of the economic society. In Afghanistan, Azizi Bank, Ghazanfar Bank, AIB Bank, AUB Bank, these are words, these are the examples of commercial banks. Exchange Bank as its name indicates exchange banks mainly deal with the international trade these banks take the responsibility of the settlement of the foreign exchange and arrange the foreign business in any country all the nationalized commercial banks have been allowed to do the business of exchange banks. Common examples of these banks are Hong Kong Bank, Bank of Tokyo and Bank of America. What is the main functions of these banks? They make arrangement of the different types of the currency for the exchange purposes. Next one is savings bank. Saving banks are those banks which collect and keep the small savings of the public, common people. They are called theft, promoting institution. And thrift promoting institutions, savings banks, they invest the funds in the safest government securities like treasury bills they are purchasing, like post offices and saving centers or certificates perform the business of the saving banks in that country. These banks accept or collect the amount with the restrictions of drawings. In interest, high interest is offered to the savers or to the depositors. 
and when they are collecting the money so they invest those deposits in different types of security they are buying the bonds of a companies different companies they buy the shares of the different companies and similarly they also buy the commercial papers means they make investment in the money market instruments as well as in capital market instruments what is money market instrument those instruments those financial assets those securities which are trading in the financial markets which have short maturity so those securities are called money market securities and money market is that market where short term whose maturity short term means whose maturity is up to or less than 1 year capital market is that financial market where long term securities that are trading for example shares common shares preferred shares bonds debentures these are words their maturity is more than 1 year that's why these are called capital market instrument or capital market securities and in which market they are trading so such market is called capital market so savings banks they accepts the deposits and further channelize those deposits not in shape of loan they invest those deposits by purchasing bonds shares commercial papers government security and so on next one is agriculture bank or land mortgage bank so agriculture bank are set up to provide financial assistance or financial support or financial help to the agriculturists the agriculture banks provide short term loan to the farmers for the purchasing of the seeds manures etc they also make medium terms of advance for the buying tractors and other machinery which are helping in the farming similarly these banks introducing modern techniques in farming agriculture development bank they arrange meeting the financial requirements of the agricultures they they give some agriculture knowledge to the farmers they are also helping in the in providing the different types of the seeds the different types of agriculture knowledge and are helping to increase the agriculture productions within the country and in this way they are promoting the financial strengths because the economy of the country depends upon strong 
industry, strong agricultures in the banking sectors as well. Next one is industrial bank. So industrial bank mainly provides medium and long term credits or loans to the industries only and only. Since the industrial bank have long term deposits, so they are in a positions to permit long term investment in the industry. For examples, in Pakistan, the IDB BP Bank, the Industrial Development Bank of Pakistan was set up in 1961. In the India, the IFCI Bank, the ICI Bank, the IDBI banks and so on. These banks are helping the industry by providing different types of the loans. And hence, when they are positively performs their functions, so industry are growing up. When industry will growing up, positive effect will be taken place on the economic development of the country. So that's why we are saying that both the agriculture banks, industrial banks, they play a vital role in the economic development of the country. Consumer bank, this is the new concept in the banking era. Consumer bank mostly used or found in the well-developed countries, just like the United States, Germany, England, etc. The main functions of this bank are main objective of this bank that they are only giving consumer loans. Consumer loans means that, that for the consumer product like purchasing of the motor car, television, washing machine, air condition, room cooler, furniture, all these. Then the consumer will repay this loan in the easy installment. The main aim of this bank is to promote the life standards of the country people. Another one types of the banks that classification on the basis of the ownership. So the banks are classified on the basis of the ownership into three categories. Public sector bank, private sector bank and cooperative bank. Here one thing is missed, so I will add it just a minute. These are the three types on the basis of what? On the basis of the ownership. Public sectors are such banks that are owned and controlled by the government. Owned and controlled by the government. So such banks are called public sector banks. For example, in Afghanistan, Pashtani Bank is a public sector bank. The Afghanistan Bank, DAB, that is what? That is a public sector bank. Private sector banks, 
that are owned by corporations that is called private sector bank but controlled by government or central bank for example in afghanistan the azizi bank aib bank ghazanfar bank these are private sector banks third one is cooperative bank cooperative banks are established mainly to provide short and medium term loan for rural development areas unfortunately in afghanistan we don't have cooperative banks but in pakistan these banks are set up under the cooperative societies act of 1925 next one is classification on basis of domicile the banks are divided on the basis of domicile domicile are area domicile means area into two category one is called domestic bank and second one is called foreign bank so domestic banks which are registered and incorporated within the country like azizi bank ghazan for bank da afghanistan bank these are all domestic banks they are registered here they are also incorporated work here foreign banks which have their origin and head office in the foreign country and they are functioning in outside of the country so such banks are called foreign bank like al al fala bank that is the bank of dubai but they are also working in pakistan so for the pakistan al fala bank is what that is foreign bank similarly in afghanistan habib bank they are what they are foreign bank so dear students hope you will understand the this lecture because this was too much easy so today i am giving you an assignment by the name of history of the bank i will also upload the assignment topic on the lms so kindly check your lms and start work on your assignment last date is 30th of may so hope you will remain this in your mind and if you have any problem so you can contact with me because if you not learn at this stage so you will not learn never don't be shy in taking the informations regarding to something means in study because this is a stage that you will learn if you are not learn 
So, you will in future you will face too much problems. Pay attention on your study. One day you will get the rewards inshallah. Keep me in your prayers. For now Allah Hafiz.